Ahead, the evolving computer business and trying to smash their way into the record books later in the show. Welcome to Three Times Square this Tuesday from Reuters World Headquarters in New York. It's no secret the computer business is hurting. Exhibit A, Dell and HP. Both reporting weak quarters in the past week or so as consumers focus on tablets and smartphones, but some are not giving up just yet. IBM announcing plans to unveil a new version of its iconic mainframe computer. The company spending $1 billion to develop an updated machine, though it is growing its services business too. Lexmark going the other way, exiting the inkjet printer business and cutting 1,700 jobs to focus more on its services business. Shares of the company continued on their downward path. Lexmark cut its forecast last month. More signs of improvement in the housing market. Our daily digit today, 1.2%. That's the gain in home prices for the second quarter versus a year earlier, according to the S&P Case-Shiller National Composite. The 10-city and 20-city composites also registered year-over-year gains. It's the first time that's happened since the summer of 2010. Along the Gulf Coast, the housing focus is on protecting homes as Tropical Storm Isaac approaches. It's expected to make landfall in the New Orleans area seven years after Hurricane Katrina devastated the region. Forecasters expect Isaac to reach hurricane strength before it hits the coast. Energy companies continue to evacuate workers and shut down operations in the region. Ben Bernanke and company preparing for the annual powwow in Jackson Hole later this week. One high-profile guest won't be making the trip. Our Jamie McGeever in London with that story. Jamie, Mario Draghi is staying home. What's going on there? That's right, Lisa. ECB President Mario Draghi will not go to Jackson Hole and nor will any of the ECB's six strong executive board. Now, this caught some people a little bit off guard um, and, of course, it's great stuff for the conspiracy theorists and readers of tea leaves out there, especially as Bundesbank President Jens Weidmann is going. Uh, but you take a step back and it really shouldn't come as any surprise. The Eurozone, as we all know, is in real crisis and Draghi himself has the small matter of the ECB meeting next week uh, where the whole world is, is expecting him to deliver on his pledge a month ago to do whatever it takes and believe me, he said, it will be enough. So something of an understatement from an ECB spokesman today when asked why Draghi wasn't going, he said he has a very heavy workload in the coming days. Lisa? He does. All right, we'll cut him some slack for not seeing him stateside. Thanks, Jamie. Our power player of the day could probably bail out a small country on her own. It's TV talk show queen Oprah Winfrey, who for the fourth straight year is Forbes' highest paid celebrity. This despite the sagging fortunes at her own cable network. Credit her ownership of syndicated hits Dr. Phil, Rachel Ray, and The Dr. Oz Show. Rounding out the top five, a trio of blockbuster film guys, Michael Bay of Transformers fame, Steven Spielberg and mega producer Jerry Bruckheimer, followed by hip hop guru Dr. Dre, who raked in 110 million bucks for selling his stake in the headphone company Beats by Dr. Dre. Well, we at Three Times Square think sometimes bigger is better, or at least makes for really cool video. Check out this 50-foot tennis racket strung on site in Queens, New York, to coincide with the kickoff of the U.S. Open. Students in a meditation group taking a swing at a Guinness World Record by building this replica of tennis legend Billie Jean King's racket. Looks like anyone can win with that, if you can lift it, that is. The racket weighing in at 12,000 pounds. That's the latest from 3 Times Square this Tuesday. You can follow us on Twitter at Reuters Insider and check out our Reuters YouTube channel at Reuters.com slash Reuters TV. I'm Lisa Bernhard. This is Reuters.